From the very beginning, we're really pushing court chemistry since we are a very new team. We lost a lot of returners and upperclassmen. So right now, the small upperclassmen that we have are working together to get the freshmen and the sophomores um, close on the court, just get everyone talking and everyone feeling comfortable playing next to each other since it is going to be a new team pretty much out on the court. So our freshmen are doing a really great job of coming in each day and just working hard. We're throwing a lot of things at them this year, so they're just kind of taking it one day at a time and one um, task at a time, and right now we're seeing a lot of success with that. Some of our returners will have to kind of pick up the slack that was lost from the previous year and work smarter in their position as positional leaders such as Amelia um, do have to be this guide for our freshmen coming in that we do have a lot of fresh pins that haven't seen um, college volleyball before and so they do have to kind of learn quickly and learn smart especially with our fast offense. This year is going to be a major shift in the offense as we move from more a pin based team than we were last year to a more middle based team. We have a, a fresh talent coming in in the middle and we have experienced um, positional leaders like myself and Marcel to kind of help guide the freshmen coming in. We are going to be a very defensive heavy team this year. We have five um, liberos, so every single day we're coming in and pushing each other for that starting spot. Whether we're playing libero or a DS position, everyone is really working together to make each other better and push each other. And I've also seen a lot of good defensive work out of our pins. We're really focusing on that too, not just making sure that they're getting swings in practice, but also making sure that they're ready defensively in order to get those swings. I think Cindy's doing a great job of running the back row. She's very vocal, and I think she's giving a lot of confidence to our freshmen and transfers on just how to run our back row. The setter group is doing a really great job of just getting our tempo down and trying to make all of our sets look as similar as possible. Um, Jill just recently came back to the setting position after a shoulder injury and being a DS last year. So she came in really fast and learned our tempo again really quickly. And then Alex is a transfer, and then she came in, and she's catching it on right away. So that's also really great. Um, I think our hitters are doing a great job of learning our tempo and just getting it down and getting some good swings on it. Some of our returners, such as Carson, have really stepped up and kind of grown into the role of being an upperclassman setter. She's really taking advantage of her offense in the front row and really commanding the court as uh, our starting setter right now. And so she's really come into her own as an upperclassman. Having two transfers really helps us out. We do only have such a small upperclassman um, group of upperclassmen this year. So I think it's really great just to add different knowledges from different schools and then kind of bring it to our school and incorporate it into our program. So I think it's helping out the freshmen a lot as well. Our Roger Williams Sturmage definitely gave us a lot of confidence. We had compl five completely different lineups that we were able to use and see who worked well with each other. And I think it got everyone really comfortable in their position. And also it got a chance to see people in different positions that they normally wouldn't play. Yeah, nothing's given this year. Everybody knows that they're, even if they were a starter last year, or if they didn't play much last year, this is a completely new team and a new year. So our lineups are not set yet. We're still playing around every single day in practice. When we play six on six, the Sides are always changing, we're always getting thrown into new looks and just seeing what's going to be our best fit. I think a lot of our freshmen are standing out to me. Michaela's doing a great job of um, coming into our defense. We're really defensive heavy this year, um, so I think she's doing a great job of working the back row. And I think a lot of our pin hitters are also stepping up. Um, losing Eileen was obviously um, really hard for us, but our pins are doing a great job of getting back into it, um, getting some great swings on it, and I think we're going to be really good this year. It is really great to have the home court advantage here at UMass and playing local New England schools before going off to Minnesota to see schools that we've never played against before. And the talent out there is supposed to be really great. So having these couple matches here at home kind of to settle in and relax. Our expectation is definitely November 9th. Um, that's the LEC championship game. We really want to bring that championship back home this year. We weren't um, happy settling for third place last year and we're coming back with vengeance this year.